Because men look up. Remember I spoke about how men are hierarchical? The reason why we look up is because we quickly realize that where we come from cannot contain us. In other words, when a girl and a boy are both birthed, they both come from their mother. A girl doesn't have to transcend the nature of her mother because she's it. She came from it. It permeates every cell in her body. She is her creator. She is of the same order, the same gender as her creator. But a boy is not of the same gender, is not of the same order as his creator. So there becomes a psychological split that happens in the boy that if not rightly accounted for, leads to a reversion where he will look to his mother for the example of how to act and behave. So a lot of, a lot of fatherless men, once they realize, oh, I have a penis, and they looked around and they're like, well, there's no examples of how to carry this penis around. And I got my mom over here telling me that my dad is a loser. My dad has a penis. Well, I don't want to be like that. Mom, how should I act? And the mom will very happily tell the boy how to be a very good little girl with a penis. Or he'll look to his mother as an example of how to be. Like I say, I, I keep reiterating that a lot of this is due to a trauma. That's a trauma. Not to have a father or a masculine figure to ascend to during that Oedipal complex stage, which is about the age of four. If you don't have that as a boy, you revert back to mommyhood. And this is where most of us are today. Our society is ordered towards this. Let me put it that way also. So if you escape this, you're kind of lucky. Even if you do have a father and you escape this, uh, you're lucky, <laughs> right? Because we live in a matriarchy. So it's all ordered towards mommy. So now that it's come to its peak, we have a whole generation of men that not only not know what it's like to be a man, because there's men, unlike women, it's not natural. In other words, I'm gonna say that it's not embedded. It has to be taught. They have to see it. That's why I said earlier today, men need mirroring. Remember I said that? Men need mirroring. That means they need an older man to show them who they are. If you don't have an older man to show you who you are, then you're a blank slate, which is easily manipulated by the world. And you're more like a woman, which is more receptive. That's why, you know, like, it's a woman's nature to be a follower. And that's not a bad thing. It's a, nat it's a woman's nature to be egalitarian. It's a woman's nature to be equal and fair. It's not a man's nature. A man's nature is to grow, is to ascend, is to look up, is to be hierarchical. Men operate in order. That's why they call it the order of man. And you have all these liberal men today, and it's because they have no order of man. They they're, they weren't raised by men. Men, real men, aren't liberal. They're conservative. Because why? Men create and thrive in order. To be liberal is to be disordered completely. And you know this because you just look at the world we live in. It's completely disordered. It's because America is a liberal democracy. And I don't want to go down this rabbit hole right now, but I'm I, over the few years that I've been discovering this, it's been a hard pill to swallow, but the founding of America isn't all, you know, firecrackers and, and, uh, and musket and amazingness like we were taught. I always question what we're taught in history. And uh, it was no different. The American Revolution is no different than the sexual revolution, than Antifa or the French Revolution or the Bolshevik Revolution. These are all revolutions against cross and crown, against order. The American Revolution was a, was, a, was a revolution against order. And so we are at the logical conclusion of a country or, or a culture founded on disorder. I'm still working this out in my mind, but I'm going with it. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here. And if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. You're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, all these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside, plus crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. But it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. 
Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. So click the link here, watch the video now, it's completely free. And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, and be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done. <laughs>